Right, okay, so today we are just going to talk a little bit about the Pathfinder tool. Um, I'm going to quickly run through how the palette works and then I'm just going to show you a bit of a practical example of how we can put it into place. So if I go to Window and open the Pathfinder palette here. So what I'm mainly going to be using is the shape modes here. Okay, so as a simple example, if I just draw a rectangle, uh, I'll just drop some colour in it so we can see what's happening here, and then I will draw an ellipse, just overlapping, and I'll change the colour of that as well so we can see what's happening here. So essentially, with the, the shape modes, what's going to happen is um, the object that's at the front here is going to interact with the object that's behind. Okay, and if I hover over these buttons, it tells you what they do. So unite. If I click on that one, oops, so sorry. I actually just need to select both the objects, and then if I click unite, you can see what that's done is actually join the two paths together. And again, it's used the value of the color value from the top item, so it's made them all red. So I'll just undo that. And again, if I just move along, we've got the minus front, so again the object that's at the front, when I click on this one it will just delete from that path for us and across again, intersect see this will actually leave us I just select these again and click on the intersect, it will just leave us the section um, of the path that we're actually overlapping ok, but the most interesting one I think is the exclude option here essentially what we can do with this is cut out holes from different paths so let me just put another rectangle so we can see what's happening here colour. I'm just going to arrange that and send it to the back ok so what I want to do is cut out a hole from the, the green box the shape of this red circle so obviously I mean, if I turn it white it doesn't mean you can see through it or I turn off the colour, it doesn't really help us with this because we actually want to cut it out of that object. So if I select both of these and then click on the exclude, so you can see what's happened there now is actually two paths compounded together and there's a complete hole in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to go through a very quick practical example of how this would be useful. If I click on this next document here, so what I'm going to do is very quickly draw these glasses here, round with my pen tool, okay so again I could refine this afterwards, I'm just doing it quite quick, I'm going to turn off my fill colour, so I can see a bit easier when I'm going around, and again just draw very quickly round the front of these glasses here and they're not the best job I've ever done but if I just tweak this anchor point here direct selection tool ok so I've got the rough outline again it's not perfect but we can we can tweak it round with the direct selection tool if I had a bit more time. And then I'm just going to draw the actual glass inside. Okay, so again, just two more paths. Drawing around here. That's it, okay, so essentially now I've got three paths. I've got the one around the outside and two that are actually the glass. Okay, so I'm just going to put some colour in here again just so we've got something. And so what I just need to make sure is the two paths of the glass are at the front. So I'll just make sure and I'll bring them to the front and then I'll select the glasses and again click on the exclude. 
and we've cut it out there. So then we've got a fill colour. You can obviously add whatever we want, sort of funky colours and things and fill to that and it's obviously completely transparent in the middle.